Hello everyone, this is Frank from Apple One to One. Today we're going to look at how to do some charts and graphs on your iPad. So here I have a basic table. I'm breaking out your gross income, your IRA, tax deferred, adjust the gross line, taxes withheld, expenses, and net by quarter and then year to date. For this example, we're just going to use the year to date column. So how you get started is you're going to tap on a cell. In this case, I want to do the IRA, tax deferred. I don't want to put our gross income in. I just want some other item. So tap and hold on it. There you go. And then where it says select cells, hit that. Now you're going to tap on taxes withheld, expenses, and net. Now you have your selected area. You're going to tap on your, you can hit done, and then hit your pie chart at the top in the menu bar. Now, in here, this is going to give you all of the items that you can select from. So if you want to go, go through them. These are 2D charts, different color configurations. That's essentially what they are. Then you have your interactive. Now these I really don't have a use for uh, right now. Some people do. You can play with them and see what you like. I'm going to go to the 3D and you can select any color combination you want. Um, for our demonstration, I'm going to use the default and I'm going to select the pie chart down in the lower left hand corner. Hit it. Now we have a default graph or pie chart. So let's talk about this. So what it did was it uh, took our essentially column A, our IRA deferred, tax withheld, expenses, and net. These, this is the series that we selected. And it assigned a color to it. And it picked up the description from our column A. The circles in the center, you can rotate your pie chart any way you want like that to you you know you get it where you think you want it the square around the circle you drag it you can enlarge it there's a couple of ways to change things in here you can once you select it like another you know, one I mean by selecting is if you it's you're just showing the chart here if you tap on it all right you can hit that right arrow and go to edit series and it'll take you to the series and you can start modifying it from there or if you tap on it and hit your paintbrush in the upper right that's going to get you <coughs> to your chart section notice here you have your chart you have style you have data and a range now primarily what we're going to be concerned with in this video is chart, style, just those two, chart and style. The first thing you notice here is that you, you can select different color configurations right from here. All right, so we're just going to go with the default. Then you have your edit series. Your edit series is going to take you to an area where you can adjust any one of these in a number of ways and we'll get to them in a little bit so if you go back your edit references if you hit that what that will do you can then modify some of the cells that you've selected so if you if you uh, missed an area that you wanted depicted in the graph you could modify it here in this case I'm gonna leave it just like it is so we're just gonna hit done Go back to our paintbrush. Now, if you want a title, notice the title, the caption are off. Turn title on, notice it puts the title, but it's over the legend. So you can just touch on here and move your legend like that. How you can increase your title, you tap out, double tap on the word title, and we'll just put in a title, we'll call it, um, distribution. If you go back to the paintbrush and you go to you notice the title, it says Style Helvetia. You can then come in here, hit that, 
And you can select anything you want. If you hit the back arrow, you can select your point size. Then down below, you can use, you can select your text color. These are kind of your just default, or you can go to the color tab and select any, any color from here that you'd like. So we'll just leave it at black. And then below that, you have your positioning, left, center, right, and then this will, if you had any pictures or whatever, it'll wrap around. So there, you can add a shadow if you want. I'm not particularly fond of that, but you can do it. All right, so we go back a little bit. You can do the same thing with a caption. Caption is down below. Again, tap out, double tap on it, and you put in whatever caption you want. So we're going to call this year to date. And again, your paintbrush. We can notice the, the caption is on. Now you can modify that any way you'd like. Come back here to your paintbrush. And, <clears throat> excuse me, the legend, which is all, we moved off to the left there. You can change that. Again, you can select any font you like. Maybe you want impact. Okay. And you can change the point size. Right? Just like that. If you go to caption, you can, you see it's where we have our year to date and our Helvecchia font, you can change that if you want. Um, maybe we want that to be impact as well. But we go back and we say, well, we want a little bit larger, increase the size, and try it out. We'll do it out now. So there you go. Now let's go to edit series. This is what this will do. Now you're going to see each area meaning the IRA tax deferred, which is in blue. Tax withheld is our green. Expenses in gray and net. Now, we can go to each one, and you have series. It's telling you the series. Now, if you want to move this out, hit that distance from center, and that, that'll bring that piece of the pie out. If you go to labels... See, it says uh, value is on, but it's showing the number format, showing percentage. Suppose we wanted to see the currency. So now you have your currency in there. All right. Come back. If you want to show the data point name, meaning that this would be the IRA tax deferred, you just turn on your data point name, and it'll put that right in that piece of the pie. If you hit your positioning, you can move that. Now, if you move it off of the color, the font color will change. Notice how it's changed the black on with the white background. If you bring it in, it's white. You can also go into the Helvetia style, and you'll see the color default is white. If you don't like that, maybe you, on the blue, maybe you want black. So you can change the font and the style for the entire chart or individual pieces. I prefer individual pieces, but however you want to do it. So if we go back, and now we do tax deferred. So just to be consistent, we're going to go to the number format, and we'll say currency, back, data point. Let's change the style, and we'll change this color to black as well. And if you want, you go to position, and we can move this. That, that moves your text. You can move that around. Series will move the piece this distance from the center. You can move that out. So if we go to expenses, so here 
from the series, you can say, well, let's let's bust the expenses out a little bit, okay? And then we'll change the color instead of from gray. Let's we'll go here and we'll say uh, expenses. Let's do, give them a red because maybe we need to pay more attention to them. Okay, come back, tap on labels, data point, percentage. We'll go to currency. Now, I will leave that white on the, this is the position of it, on that piece of the pie. Come back to the series, net, so we'll break this out. And you know what, I'm going to make this net, because this is, should be cash on hand, we're going to make this green. Okay, and then I'm going to go back and we're going to do labels, data point, and we're going to do currency. The only other thing I want to change is we're going to go to taxes withheld and series, and I'm going to change the fill instead of a green. Mm, we're going to do like an orange, because that's not our money. And there you go. Now here's your pie chart off of your IRA tax deferred, taxes withheld, expenses in that. Now the reason I have just the gross line is because the IRA tax deferred, that comes off of your gross before taxes. That's why I have the adjusted gross and then the tax withheld amount, just in case anybody's interested, I took that from the 2023 IRS chart for uh, 90,000 income single, which is at 22%. So I did the 22% uh, off the 90,000 monthly, and then we have our quarterly amount and then the year to date amount. If you want to change the chart, and you can change all these right there. So if you find something you like, then you're good to go. Now here, if you go to Style General, you come in here. These are different color palettes. Again, you can choose from images. They're kind of different textures. If that's the look you want, then there are more textures. Tap on these, and depending upon what you're looking for, so there's a lot of stuff there. And if you want to change, uh, well, the 3D scene, this is giving us our X and Y axis, so you can move it around how you like. There's a lot of rotation. All right, now what this will do is, if you hit each, you see how it's moving each piece around. I hope that helped, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, please let us know, and we'll see you soon. Thank you again.